All right, coach, in this video, I'm going to talk to you like I'm having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. If we were on the phone and I was going through your business, and this is specific for you if you want to increase profitability with your training business, and this video is specific for you if you rent out space or if you're planning on renting out space or if you're planning on leasing, uh, like you lease out a space that you're like on a one or three year lease deal uh, where you have access to the gym or the court every single day of the week. So if you're renting or leasing, this is for you. If you want to be more profitable, if you don't know who I am, my name is Ben Neighbors. I'm the founder of MakeMoneyCoachingSports.com. I help coaches like yourself grow and scale training businesses. I've been doing this every single day since 2016. So this video is for you, like I said, if you want to raise your profit margin. And here's the deal. A lot of coaches that I talk to, their profit margin in this industry is really, really small. And I'm on a mission to help coaches like yourself become way more profitable. This video is the start of that journey. And I want you to pay close attention, write down notes. I honestly think this video is worth $100,000 or more to your business over the next 12 months. So implement what I talk about. If you have questions, go right below, download this video, see my number, text me. I'd love to chat with you about your specific situation and I can go into these details even further on a call with you. All right, so there's four things here that I'm gonna get into. So number one, this is such a powerful tool and this should be a weapon within your business, which is selling advertising space on your email newsletter, your shirts, your indoor facility and social media. And you wanna do this specifically with higher ticket local businesses that serve the parents or the kids that you train, all right? And what this does, it automatically reduces your monthly overhead expenses. So let me just use this example, okay? If you're paying like 2K a month, maybe it's 2K or more per month to rent out the space that you have. If you have wall space, if you have an email newsletter, a t-shirt, uh, a website, social media. If, if you have any of these things, you can go to any local business and you can just literally pull out your phone and just show them, be like, hey, here's how many followers I have. Here's how big my email list is. Here's how many clients and customers that we serve on a daily basis. Here's how many parents walk through our door every single week. Like if you can sit down with someone within one minute and just be like, boom, 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 boom. You can be like, hey, if you want to advertise inside of our facility, uh, we have these three different tiers. And on this tier, you get X, Y, Z. On this tier, you get X, Y. On this tier, you get X. And if you have like four or five local sponsors, I'm not kidding when I say this, but your monthly expense of paying 2K per month can go to zero because you can get in front of these businesses that want to get their advertising in front of the parents that you work with. All right, you have a local business. These people will give you money to advertise at your space if you just go out and hunt for business, all right? It is not that difficult, and this can take away a lot of the overhead costs per month, plus like any equipment costs, um, any loans that you might have in this business. Like This is a fast way to reduce the overhead, which automatically makes your business more profitable right out of the gate. And that is without adding a single client. And like these four tips that I'm about to show you, that's number one, but the next three, they're all designed. Like if you weren't gonna add any new clients for the rest of your life, like all of these things are going to make your business way more profitable than it is right now. So that's number one, sell advertising space to high ticket local businesses around your area, real estate, dentist, orthodontist, uh, chiropractor, sports rehab specialist. I mean, I could give you a lot of different ideas. Those, all of those businesses already exist in your area and they want to get more customers. So having them in your facility is gonna over, like you're going to make a lot of money doing that and you're going to be able to reduce a lot of the overhead costs. Ideally your overhead costs, trim that down to zero. That would be ideal, all right? So this way there's zero risk running this business. That is number one. Number two, this is hard for me sometimes to explain on a video. It's easier if I'm talking to you one-on-one. -on -one. So like I said, if you want to text me, go down right below this video, you'll see my number. But 
it's harsh, but it's also true. And I see too many coaches, what they do is because of the business owner, they think, all right, well, I need to have a big team. I need to have a lot of assistant coaches. I need to have a social media manager. I need to have uh, X, Y, Z. Like, and a lot of these coaches think that they need to have a lot of people on payroll, right? And here's the deal. Sometimes coaches do this because their egos get inflated and they think, I don't want to do everything in my business. And I'm not saying you should do everything in your business. But oftentimes when I look at a training business, one of the first things I see is there's too many coaches on payroll. A lot of these coaches are underperforming. They're not actually bringing in revenue into the business. They're just working a session and they're also being overpaid. So in this second tip, again, it's harsh, but it's true. We need to cut out any employee, someone who's working for you, that's not making this profitable, right? That automatically reduces your overhead expenses right off the gate, right, 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 out, right out of the gate here because you're not having to worry about paying X dollars every first of the month to someone who is underperforming, all right? So it is getting rid of bad employees and instead of having a lot of employees, we have a small lean team of employees. Uh, these are hunters. These are people that want to get after it and having one of these people would be equivalent to having like five normal people that work for you. So I would rather you be more profitable per month, have less people that you're managing, but those people that you're managing, maybe they have a, a multiple roles within your business. Maybe they're just really, really good at training and that's all they're going to do. And you just pay them hourly. But instead of having 10 guys do it, you have like three guys do it. All right. That is going to save you a lot of money because oftentimes, um, and this goes into the next point I'm about to make, uh, but oftentimes you have too many people in your ecosystem that you have to pay per month to run this operation. And I have seen so many coaches at this point in my career, because all I do is I help coaches run this type of business at really high levels. Too many, too many times uh, you guys have too many people in your, in your business and it's better to have small lean team. All right. So again, that's going to increase profit margin the second you do that. The third one, all right, and this goes kind of, this goes back to the last one too. They, they kind of come together, but it is cutting underperforming classes that aren't filled. All right, so let me give you this example. If you're renting out and you're paying $100 per hour for a Wednesday night slot at 5 p.m., all right, if that's the case, if you aren't making at least $400 for that time slot, I would be telling you, hey, we need to cut that out. Like we need to get rid of that time slot because it's not profitable enough. All right. And we should be doing 4X the amount of what it costs per hour in revenue. All right. So if you're paying $100, you should be generating like $400 for that hour. And I'll, a lot of times coaches think, well, I need to have multiple time slots because I want it to be easy for people to sign up. Now that makes sense if the demand is there. Oftentimes the demand isn't there. So it's like if you have multiple days and times that you offer, but there's like two kids showing up when there should be eight or nine, we got to get rid and cut the underperforming classes that you don't need to offer anymore. All right. So we kind of got to get rid of the ego and be like, no, we don't need to have millions of classes. We need to have less classes that are filled. And we're only going to start adding classes when the demand is there. All right, the market is going to speak for you and let you know that you need to add more classes. And again, because you have too many classes, you have to pay more per hour to operate. All right, it's going to be better to run three sessions per week at full capacity than have 10 sessions per week at like 20% capacity. And that is a common problem a lot of coaches face because they don't fill up their classes. They try to make it too convenient for parents and they're spending way more than they need to on their business all right that's number three so just quick recap before i go to the fourth one number one sell advertising space all right get money from local businesses that want to advertise towards your clients that could be a monthly thing that you're getting that could be an annual thing automatically that cuts out expenses all right number two cut down on the amount of people that you hire all right automatically that saves you money number three cut down on underperforming classes automatically that saves you money 
every single week on rent. And, and if you're leasing and you have too many slots open, all right, we should cut down your schedule, right? Let's make it more lean. Let's make it more profitable, all right? The last one here, this, in my opinion, is it's kind of the holy grail. <laughs> I don't really like using that word, but this is kind of the holy grail of this business, which is creating new standards for existing clients. All right. So if you want your business to be more profitable, if you do the first one, two or three, automatically your business is already more profitable. But on the client side, if you look at your current clients and let's say in 60 days from now, you go to all your clients and you're like, hey, in 60 days from now, we're going to ask every single customer to sign a three month minimum agreement. And if you go do that and your clients sign up for that, you have reassurance, you have peace of mind that they're going to be paying monthly for three months. All right. So that gives you the peace of mind. Like, okay, I know this business is really stable and I know based on how many members I have, this is how much money I'm going to make. 95% of coaches in this industry don't have that set up. That's why I'm saying that in this video, because you need to have something like that set up. And that sets the tone with the existing, existing clients that like, this is what we're doing. If you want to stay with us, this is when we're doing it by. And that keeps people that you work with in your program. And also all of the new people that end up joining your program, they only know one way of doing business now because that's how you do it. So this is not a, a little change that you make with current clients. This is a permanent change that increases profitability across the board. When we scale us out one, two, three, three years, 10 years down the road from now, because every single new person that comes in, they are more committed than they used to be. And that means each client that comes in is now more valuable. All right. So let me recap the four one more time. And then that's it. All right. So number one, sell advertising space. Number two, cut down on your team. Don't need as many employees as you think. Number three, cut down on classes. Number four, create new standards for existing clients. Something that is like three, six or 12 months. Get your current clients locked into it. This is also going to apply to new clients who end up coming in. So all four of these things automatically make your business more profitable. If you implement all of these, your business is going to be so different over the next 12 months. It's going to be crazy. So if you watch this video and you like it, you want to get in contact with me, go right below this video. You're going to see my phone number. It's going to be sitting right there. I talk to coaches like you every single day five days out of the week. That's all I do like clockwork. So if you want to get in touch with me, send me a text. I'd be happy to chat with you. Have a blessed day and God bless. Catch you later.